B-A-T-S, or on the web at BigTimeBats.com. Again, 866-430-BATS or BigTimeBats.com. Orders today receive free shipping. BigTimeBats.com are officially licensed by Major League Baseball Properties. This is a special announcement to all Americans who own a vehicle with less than 175,000 miles with a vehicle service contract about to expire or no automobile breakdown coverage at all due to a decline in the economy and major car companies filing for bankruptcy. Automobile Coverage of America has announced a revolutionary low-cost coverage plan that is now available to the general public to save consumers thousands on auto repairs. Drivers with less than 175 thousand miles will not have to pay for a covered vehicle repair bill again out of their own pocket now the repair bill is paid directly for you this is the automobile breakdown coverage that is sweeping across the nation that's a fraction of the cost that some dealerships are charging drivers who activate this coverage will also receive roadside assistance towing and car rental at no additional cost call today for a free five-minute quote and to see if you qualify number to call is 800-585-1430 800-585-1430. Again, that's 800-585-1430. You're listening to Brian Sussman on Hot Talk 560 KSFO. Gerald Salenti is the director and founder of the Trends Research Institute. And by the way, he has a great journal, the Trends Journal. Go to trendsjournal.com and you can subscribe. Uh, you've seen him on Fox, on CNN. He's quoted in all the newspapers, and he's with us right now as in a continuation of our discussion. Uh, Gerald, you, you again, really have, a, have knowledge of the markets, and you've been forecasting exactly what's happening today. For years, you've been warning us about all of this. I saw a story earlier this morning regarding silver. Uh, there's no way, unless you're an insider, you can buy silver right now. It appears as if the silver market for guys like me, are, it's, it's, it's dried up. We can't buy it any longer. What's going on? Well, Max Kaiser uh, has started this whole buy silver campaign to break the lock that uh, J.P. Morgan has on the COMEX in the, in the commodities section of buying silver. And there's a lot of claims on that they're trying to short the market to drive down the price and control the market. But it's bigger than that. We're looking at when what's going on in Ireland is ready to explode. There's going to be a revolution there. They're bailing out the banks to levels even greater than what's going on over here. The bank debt, Brian, in, in Ireland is equal to 50% of its GDP. Wow. And, and then you go to Spain. Portugal, Italy, you go across the continent, it's almost the same story with the exception of Germany and France. England is in very deep trouble as well. We're looking at a global currency crisis. You're looking at the price of gold going up. We hit, it hit 14, what, 24. It's back down to now about 1350. The whole world is concerned about these fiat currencies. And all you have to do is look what's going there's a, on. There's a currency war going on. The United States is devaluing the currency in front of our eyes. That's why, folks, gasoline prices are going up. Oil is based in dollars. Bernanke with this QE2 thing, Mm -hmm. printing digital money out of thin air, not worth the paper it's not printed on. Again, that's white shoe boy language, QE2. Mm -hmm. It's dumping cheap money into the system and to keep the banks afloat. It cannot continue to go on. We're looking at the bailout bubble. And now here's the warning. When you put currency wars plus trade wars, because that's the next one, it equals hot war, because it's all about dough. And what's going on in Europe, everyone should be alerted to. There's a mass movement going on with the people that brought us off with their heads, the French. Mm -hmm. They're calling for a huge bank strike on December 7th. They're telling the people to pull all their money out of the big banks. And by the way, my slogan for 2011 is break the chains, buy local and bank local. We have to break the chains. Ten banks, this is the United States of America. We were taught to rise and fall on our own merits, the bastion of free enterprise. Ten banks, ten banks control 80% of all the action in this country. (laughs) 
So when you say buy local, bank local, you mean find that local bank locally owned and put your money there. Put your money there. And every every product that you could possibly buy. You know, this is what Gandhi did, by the way, to break the chains of the, the British servitude over India. The people bought local. They boycotted the British. That's the only Britain, – Britain was using that place to dump their product in. We have to buy America. Stop with this baloney. I'm tired of hearing these politicians telling me about what globalization is. I know what it is. You get your, money, your stuff made in a slave labor country called the communist China. You export it back and you mark it up. If we don't support each other, we're gone. So from your local farmer's market to any product made in USA, made in USA, and put your money in the local banks. Break the chains. Until the chains are broken, we're never going to be free. Now we have uh, our Treasury Secretary, Tim Geithner, uh, warning people not to politicize the Federal Reserve and not to politicize his actions in the Treasury. Uh, hey, listen, we have freedom of speech. I can politicize whatever I want to politicize. I can criticize whatever I want to criticize. The bottom line is he wants to go through with this new $600 billion monetization, this QE2, even though guys like you, Gerald Salenti, are saying, this is a crock. This isn't going to fix anything. This will bring too many dollars into the system and cause for massive inflation. I guess he wants us just wants us just to keep it zipped. Exactly. And that's the lines they use, by the way. And you picked it up. He said not to politicize this. I'm a political atheist. I don't believe in their religions. What, I, what am I? Uh, I'm, I'm a, a, a heathen for, for, for talking out against a great politician? No, nah, come on. Knock it off, Geithner. I'll say what I want to say. It's not politicizing the issue. It's calling you a sellout. It's calling Geithner, Bernanke, Obama, and Bush, and all the rest of them a sellout. Selling our country out by devaluing our currency and enslaving the people. And I'm saying it, Brian. You take that issue with just on that money issue on how they're devaluing our, our currency – to then subjugating us and humiliating us in public by feeling us up and groping us. It, this is, it is in clear, clear view. It's a robbing of the dignity of the American people. And it's not going to be so much inflation in terms of supply and demand, because demand is so great, the product. It's a devaluation of the dollar. They're doing it in front of our eyes. This is not creating jobs. It hasn't created jobs. It's creating more wealth for the money junkies. Okay, what happens? Well, well tell us, and again, this is what you do. You forecast these trends. Uh, you've given us a couple tips on what we can do to break this cycle, buy local, bank local. But what really and truly would be good economic policy for the federal government to shore things up and get us back on the right track? Number one, stop these wars. They're losing wars. I, that we were supposed to be in Iraq because there were weapons of mass destruction and ties to al-Qaeda. There are none. There were none. We're draining money, men. This is perfect empire decline. You go throughout history, draining the national treasury. The war in Afghanistan's a loser. Now they got us up to 10,014. This is the longest war in American history. It ain't going anywhere. Alexander the Great couldn't pull it off. The British couldn't pull it off. The Russians couldn't pull it off. They're draining us. Bring the money. Bring the troops back home. You, I'm all in favor of protecting America. Let's get those troops. Put them around the borders. Let's keep out the, Amen. the illegals. Okay, so those are two great tips. Now the, That's a trillion dollars almost right there. The, the Federal Reserve is about as federal as Federal Express. I've said that many times. I know you would agree with me. How can we the, – the Federal Reserve at the least needs to be audited. We need to know what's going on behind the scenes, Federal right? Federal Reserve, I agree with you 100 percent. There is no need for the Federal Reserve. Anybody that reads their history knows it was the major battle throughout the entire 1800s of the central bankers right. taking over the country. They've taken over the country. We, you know, I sum this up in, very, in six simple words. Harvard, Princeton, Yale, bullets, bombs, and banks. Hmm. You look who's running the show. 
We got, what do we have? The Supreme Court stacked with Harvard and Yale. You look at the president. You look at the Federal Reserve. You look at the whole team. That's why you send your kids there. It's not that they're so smart. I mean, on the contrary, if I had a track record as bad as as, as Uncle Ben Bernanke, I would have been <laughs> laughed out of business. It's that's why you send your kids there, to get indoctrinated and to anoint them into the club. And by the way, this is the other big lie that they've been telling people. They say, you know, you could do it on your own. You don't need anybody. You're strong. You're tough. You don't... Yeah, guess what? They're all doing it on deals. That's how you make hundreds of millions of dollars while they're separating the people. This is a time for like-minded people to get together. This is a, a perfect grasshopper in ant winter we're going into. The grasshopper is believing in all the baloney that the politicians are telling them, but the ant has to work with a colony. We need to bring the community back. It's grassroots. Start from the bottom and work your way up. You know, Gerald, I have an article today at humanevents.com regarding uh, a half a billion dollar federally backed government loan to a, a solar company here in the Bay Area. And the solar company is completely upside down. The taxpayer is likely going to be on the hook for half a billion dollars. Meantime, the early investors will get out all their money. They'll come out shining. This is the kind of stuff you're talking about. This is the kind of garbage that's going down, these sweetheart deals, right? One after another, just like the sweetheart deal with Chertoff throwing us into these x-ray machines. It's one sweet – look, I hate this language, this white shoe boy language they use. <laughs> For instance, we just went through the campaign cycle, campaign contributions. How about bribes and payoffs? Could anybody grow up out there? <laughs> I love it. Gerald Salente, you, you tell it uh, like it is. You tell it right from your heart. You don't pull any punches. And, again, uh, the website is trendsresearch.com, and you've got the Trends Journal. Tell folks how they can get this Trends Journal because it's just packed with insightful information. Well, they could just go to our website. There's a Trends Journal link, and you could go to also trendsjournal.com. And, Brian, we know that people are having a difficult time. We make it available to everyone at a price that they can afford if they cannot afford the full price. There's a discount request form. This is about informing and empowering people. The greatest, the greatest gift that I get each day is when people write back to us and tell them how much we've inspired them and the new products and services and directions they're going in to forge their own future. TrendsResearch.com. You can click on the Trends Journal button. He's been forecasting trends worldwide since 1980. He is Gerald Salente. Gerald, thanks for being with us, as always, on KSFO. Thank you, and happy Thanksgiving to everyone. Thank you, my friend.